After considerable controversy, the Satori House for Creative Arts will remain open, but against the wishes of the Highland Park Presbyterian Church. A spokesman for the church said the house had no religious overtones and was a hippie pad. Well, hippie pad or not, the Northeast Texas Presbytery last week voted to approve continuation of Satori House. Dr. P.J. Garrison, Jr., executive secretary of the Presbytery, said the approval came in the form of a voice vote, which obtained a substantial majority. Before the vote, a report on Satori House was given by the Presbytery's Committee on National Ministries. The chief point made was that the ministry and witness of Satori House needs to be made by the church to people not attending church or now being reached by the church. The Satori House, sponsored by the Presbyterian Church, is aimed primarily at the young population of the Oaklawn area. The Presbytery also appointed the Reverend Andrew Short, director of the Satori House. The Reverend Mr. Short has been acting director of the house since the Reverend Doug McLean resigned last June. The house was almost doomed to closure then. I spoke with the Reverend Mr. Short about the operation of Satori House. I think we can concentrate on some needs that the young people have now without having to give our attention to the, to the uh, pragmatic need of defending ourselves to the church people that uh, we've had to prove ourselves to. I think we can concentrate on things that need to be done now. What type of programs now will be offered? We'll continue, as far as I know at this time, to try to base what we're doing on a class setup with creative arts and uh, group activities in terms of knowing yourself better and knowing other people better. Law enforcement officials have dropped in to answer questions and currently a program is being initiated to seek employment for those who desire it. Mike Moss, Channel 8 News.